Hi, welcome to Rick's Corner. Uh, this past week I did a uh, video about shoulder injury, which is really common in working out. And uh, there's a lot of other body parts I haven't touched on as well, but I want to talk about knees. Knees seem to be a big problem with a lot of people, especially us guys that wrestle, because we put a lot of abuse on our knees, stomping and jumping. And then the full squats over the years take a toll on your knees as well. Now, um, I've been working out 50 years, and I always was a good squatter. 450 pounds, 475. It's not a lot of weight, but it's, it is a lot of weight, and it's just stressful on the knees. And my legs were in good shape. I had really nice legs, I had a nice curve to them. I was really pleased with the way they looked. As time goes on, and I was wrestling six nights a week, as you know, we do a lot of stomping and jumping, and the knees get compressed over and over and over. And the squatting compresses the knees as well. So it's, it's taking a lot of abuse on that joint, not to mention your lower back and all the way up your spine. So one thing triggers another to another to another. And so over a period of years, I've been getting cortisone shots in my right knee because it seemed to hurt more than my left. And I was good for months. Sometimes I was good for a whole year on the cortisone. I didn't realize what was going on inside the bone. Now, cortisone can eat away cartilage. It can cause a lot of damage in tendons. It's like an acid, although it's an anti-inflammatory. It has a side effect. In 2001, I was doing a wrestling show. I uh, took a guy over an arm drag, he fell on me, and I snapped my right quad off. Now completely. All the tendons snapped, the quad went up my leg, and the leg was basically useless. I couldn't even stand on it, it just fell out from underneath me. I didn't realize how bad it was. I'm going to show you a picture of the surgery. I'm going to show you a picture of what happened afterwards. It's kind of graphic, so it's kind of sickening, but I'll show you anyway. Um, five days later, I walked out my back door and fell, and my left quad ripped. So I had them both reattached, staples all the way down both legs. It took me about six weeks in leg braces, straight leg braces, and, and I couldn't sit in a car except with my legs straight out. I couldn't sit on anywhere. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't go in the shower without a walker. I went back to the gym two weeks later in a wheelchair and a walker, and I worked out my upper body every day with leg braces and crutches and walkers and wheelchairs and whatever I had to do to get back to health. And I heal in half the time because I was training and I was getting blood flow back into my whole body. But eight weeks after, I came up with a staph infection that I got in the hospital, and my knee literally exploded. It, within 24 hours, two holes, or a hole opened up in my knee, and then a second hole, and all this fluid came out, and it almost went up my leg and could have died. So they gave me heavy antibiotics, and of course it healed up, but it said over the years it might activate again. It's living on a stitch in there. So, it brings me up to date. I have had these cortisone shots in my knee. I'm going to show you the picture of the x-ray. I didn't realize it was as bad as it is. If you look at the right knee, you'll see bone on bone, and it's off-center. It's slipped over a little bit, so it's making my right leg kind of bow-legged. This is very painful, and it takes a lot of energy for me to, to get around. I mean, I still go to the gym. I still work legs. I do leg press extensions, 500 on the leg press, which is probably a little bit stupid, but in, in the other sense, it's not because it's keeping my strength and my tendons, which I need. So what I'm saying is be careful when you squat because if you have any indication of clicking and knocking in there, something's going on and it's not healthy and it's going to ruin your knees. Uh, leg press doesn't seem to hurt near as much. I can still get development out of it. Hack squats, so-so. Depends on where I put my heels. But the overhead, the, the behind neck squat, you know, set the compression right down on that knee is going to kill you. I can't even do stairs. I have to do one at a time or an escalator or an elevator. Um, as you can see by the x-ray, it's, it's pretty bad. And so what I did get was what they call Suparts, which is hyaluronic acid injection, which goes in there and it kind of lubricates it for a while, maybe for six months, whatever. But bottom line is I need to get a new knee. I might do this next year. The only thing I don't like is the downtime of recovery because I know with my quads, it took good six, eight months before I could really walk and feel right again. So um, these pictures are graphic, like I said. The holes in the knees aren't pleasing to look at. Uh, people don't realize when I limp, why I limp. They say, oh, why are you limping? Did you hurt yourself? Yeah, long time ago, and it's lasted a long time. It's not getting any better. And I want to just tell you other guys that are out there training with your heavy squats, be careful, please. Because I have people come up to me saying, you know, I hear clicking in my knee, and it's a little sore around the tendon, and the patella hurts a little bit. That's an indication that something's going on. And it's an indication to slow down and not go so heavy. Uh, DMSO seems to work as far as anti-inflammatory. I ice my knee every night. Ibuprofen when I have to and I do what I have to do. Now arthritis is set into the joint, of course. That happens as you train, you get older. But um, knees, that's your foundation. That's what holds you up. Now it's going on to my left leg a little bit. And when I get up in the morning, I can feel the wobbleness in my legs. I don't have the stability I once had in my knees because of all that leg workout um, to an extreme. Now I do a leg workout not to an extreme just to keep it mobile. 
But I wanted to share this with you because I've had a lot of good feedback on the shoulder injury and everybody seems to have a bad shoulder and I'm sure a lot of you guys have bad knees as well. And this is the time to take care of it and do what you have to do so they don't get any worse because they can. Um, like I said, there's things you can do like icing it, ibuprofen, DMSO works fine. DMSO burns your skin uh, for a while so you have to use a lot of lotion on it. Um, the injections of the cortisone, not so bad. I mean, they don't hurt. It's just that people say, oh, no, cortisone is bad for you. Well, I used it for years and it really helped me a lot, almost in every joint. So um, I overused it in my... I overused it in my right elbow and I tore my tricep off. I'm a walking disaster. But I still train. I don't let it stop me. And I think the fact, like my doctor says, if I didn't go to the gym, I'd be all crippled up. And the fact that I do go to the gym, I'm all crippled up. <laughs> but I still can get around. So what I was trying to just tell you, just be careful and listen to me. I'm just trying to spread the word. And I'm so glad you guys watch my show. I'm getting more and more viewers every day. I do sell t-shirts and supplements that are on my website on rickdrazen.com. Go to my store, buy a novelty shirt, get the Goals Gym original logo from bodybuilding.com. World Gym sponsors me. They're a wonderful gym all around the country. I'm thrilled to death to have them on my page and behind me as well. Anabolic Outlaws help produce my show. They have supplements and they sell my shirt. So stay tuned for more Rick's Corners. I'm getting more guests and one of these days, just one of these days, and I know it's going to happen, I'm going to get Arnold on here and we're really going to talk. Thanks and stay tuned.